Good evening. This is Martin Bates from Isles in Gaza. Uh, you're listening to The Rock Zone on Channel One. Stay tuned. <laughs> Σάββατο 17 Ιανουαρίου στι 9 το βράδυ, ο Μάρτιν Μπέιτ των Άιλε στην Γκάζα μιλά στο Δημήτρη Αδωνόπουλο στην ροκ ζώνη του Σαββάτου. Σάββατο 17 Ιανουαρίου στι 9. Hello, Martin. Hello there, how are you? Okay. Good. Welcome to Channel One. Welcome. Nice to speak to you today. Martin, what about the map of the stars in uh, summer? A map of the stars in summer. Uh, it's a, musically, it was an exercise uh, to, for pieces of, that were quite intense. Um, I was, really, I wanted to work with the idea of a, a small, a small performance, a very uh, intimate, of a very intimate nature. And uh, the, the songs are written with that in mind. Yes, Martin, can, can you tell me about the first steps of Isles in Gaza almost three decades ago, about the feeling, about the music scene? At the time, the music scene, it was very much a case of feeling uh, intimidated by uh, people who were concerned with technique and showing off their expertise. And it was, at that time, it was quite a bad atmosphere. One felt one couldn't work uh, with music because weren't clever enough. Mm -hmm. so, so that was a good thing about um, the, the punk rock um, explosion and mm -hmm. the music that came after it. Because I, I felt the punk rock thing was, was good, but the energy was all pointing one way. But with the, when the post-punk music came to the fore, there was lots of, lots of um, a spread of music. And suddenly it was like, this is the way in. You don't need to have a fantastic technique to begin your yes. your musical journey you can strike your own path do it yourself kind of yeah indeed do yes. it yourself can you tell me some of your memories from your collaboration with Anne Clark the windmills of your mind by Michelle Legrand it was so beautiful in your basin with your voice I'm glad you enjoyed it yes. it's very much a case of uh, Anne and I having uh, a sympathy and an empathy with a lot of the things that uh, Rilke was saying. And we felt the poetry was so intense on the page. It needed, it, well, didn't need it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing in its own right, but we felt that it, it would be good to, to sort of colour in uh, some of our feelings um, about the, the words uh, with music, by using music. So it's very much... Uh, um, an intuitive uh, project. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't come to it in any kind of uh, academic sense at all. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, can we say the same about the music and the audience? Maybe. Uh, definitely. <laughs> to me, uh, a piece of art is not complete unless someone is there to witness it, mm -hmm. to experience it. I think it's a two-way uh, communication. Art is a two-way communication. You can't If the, if the, what's the point of a picture if there's no one to look at it? What's the point of music if there's no one to listen to it? You need, you need that, you need the um, sender and the giver. Yes. I think that uh, Summer Salt and Subway Sun, as Wire magazine said too, it was one of your best albums ever. I still remember your Athens concert two years ago. Can we expect to see you again soon in Athens for concert maybe uh, all being well yes we're speaking with greek promoters uh, at this moment mm -hmm. to try and get us over to do uh, maybe a festival date and you know, may, you know maybe uh, some club concerts as well this year but uh, we have high hopes to, to be working in greece this year mm -hmm. no definite plans yet but <laughs> okay. it's all it's all very close very close we really want to do it that's good <laughs> 